Hi guys, welcome to last minute learning. Today the topic which we are going to study is knowledge discovery from data. Uh, as we know that its uh, short form is KDD. Uh, this is the whole structure of uh, how the knowledge is extracted from the data. Okay, firstly, uh, I have uh, explained it in just seven steps. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now firstly what we have to do is we have to extract the data from where do we extract the data as we can see there is a data source it can be anything like google.com is any search engine okay then what we will do is that we have got a lot of data together now we will clean the data okay now we will clean the data how do we clean the data we have got a lot of data together and there is a lot of data which we don't want to use which is extra for us that data we have to first we have to clean it then we have to integrate the data now uh, for integration um, chunks of after cleaning the data we get some chunks we just uh, combine them so that the data uh, gets integrated for this uh, purpose we use correlation analysis uh, in which there is chi-square method um, may you all know this method how to how to use this method and then we we indicate the data through that then this data is sent to the data warehouse there where all this data is being gathered okay then the third step data selection we got a lot of data okay then we what we have to do is we have to select that data which we need which is useful to us and we have to separate all the data which is which is a waste for us which is not useful to us then what we will do is data transformation this is a very important step data transformation is when we uh, then when we have a lot of different types of data like we have many different languages like english uh, Urdu, uh, Hindi, uh, and Chinese, and so many more languages. Uh, we have, but we have to convert this data into a single form, uh, a single form which is uh, same for all the types. But what we will do is, for example, we uh, have a data in English and Chinese. We will convert both the data into binary zeros and ones, so that we get a data in a similar. A similar type of data so that we can understand it easily now all the data which until step 4 is uh, gone to data mining okay it is given to the data mining the, then next step is pattern evaluation all the data which we uh, got till uh, point 0.5 data mining we, we try to create uh, patterns for it the data which we need we create specific patterns for it uh, like the data which we want and it creates a useful information for uh, for us then pattern this is called pattern evaluation pattern evaluation is then then we get this means we we get the we got the knowledge okay when the knowledge is got we have get the knowledge then what we will do is that we will represent the knowledge through any the, there are different tools to represent the knowledge of data mining we can use those tools and represent the knowledge these are the seven steps which are used to discover the knowledge from the data then that knowledge which is useful to us thank you very much thank you very much for watching